Let the church say amen. Good morning to those that are here in person on this Memorial Day weekend. And for those that are online, when you do see the message, we say good morning to you or afternoon or whatever time you view the message today. For this week, we have two birthdays today, and they're like twins. Uh, today, May 26th, happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Sister Paula Reeves. Happy birthday, and happy birthday to Sister Cassandra Brown, her twin. Let's give them a birthday shout out. And guess what? They're in church on their birthday. Hallelujah. To God be the glory because they know who brought them and has made a way for us. So we want both of you to have a wonderful birthday. Today is the Hardy reunion. And you know we have a lot of Hardys here in the family. They told us already, say, we won't be there. Pastor and co-pastor, we won't be there. But they will have a wonderful um, uh, reunion today. And Minister Hardy, he's praying. I pray that he'll be able to go, even not just for a little while, to be able to be a part of the family today. All right, so we're thankful for that for you. And for those, for the 55 and Alive group that went on the trip, um, please send your pictures in. The deadline is for Tuesday in order for Joe to be able to have it ready for first Sunday to be able to show. So if you have pictures, send it to the email address that I text in the tech group text that was there. If you didn't get it, please get it from me and get those to Joe by Tuesday. And we're going to bring in the children that went on the perfect attendance trip. So we're going to combine it all together to have a wonderful day that was for all of us. So we pray that you're able to do that, and we look forward to seeing the presentation. Let's give Pastor a hand as he comes forth this morning. Good morning. Is God still good? Does he ever change? He says he never changes. Amen. He's a good God. In a full house, he's a good God in an empty house. Amen. And whatever he has today is for us. Amen. And the other ones, we have to just get it online. We thank God for your presence this morning. And all that God is doing, it's just this, it's this goodness that allows us to just simply celebrate each and every day that he gives us. Amen. And just to say, Father, we thank you. And you know, days like today, of course, you know, there's so much going on the weekend, as my wife said. And then with the large family we have as part of the ministry. They're having a family reunion, getting together, so forth. But one of these days, we're going to have a big reunion. When all of God's children, amen, say all of God's children. When all of God's children get together, I just hear the old folks say, what a time. Amen. No haters. No jealousy, no envy, no strife. It's all of God's people. And that's why you, you endure what you have to endure. You, you, you endure it. You go through it. Because I know some of you, 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 times are tough for a lot of people. You even see it on news and, and what we're doing here right now, we take for granted, is such a privilege there are other places on this planet that if they're caught having church, it could mean that they will be they will be killed. So they go on the ground. Amen. If we can walk in here and wear our best Sunday Sunday going clothes and have church and worship God, but you know what? The way things are getting, we better not take this for granted for too long. Anytime you talk about Jesus, they want to change the subject. So much you cannot say about Jesus. They said, like I said, the lady at the gym tells me, if, if Jesus is the only way, then, you know, I can't handle a God that works like that. Okay. It's going to be a big surprise when you find that hell is still smoking and God is not joking. It is. 
So here we are. I want you to absorb everything that you see and at what you experience. Because what we're seeing and what we're going through and experiencing is just the fringes. We haven't got to the meat of it yet. It's a very important word Jesus said. And it's not to make you feel bad or depress you, but to let you know where we are and what we're going through. He said, these signs are just the beginning. Isn't that something? Stuff we're seeing right here. <laughs> People willing to vote, no matter what kind of life you live, or who you are. Just, I better leave that alone because they didn't me bother that. But these are the signs of the times. Signs of the times, people. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. And what do we say? Prayerful. But God is good, amen. And he has mercy and us forever. And we're just grateful for everything he does and how good he is. You know, Pastor, I don't want to be too long, but I want to share with you, I think, a message that God laid upon my heart. That would be a blessing to us and for us this morning. So we love the Lord. And I'm so glad that he's a part of our lives. And whatever you need, I want you to know, you got to feel assurance of knowing that God, someone help me say God. Blows my mind. You look at the galaxies, stars, planet and a night nice sky he says said, you, you believe there's somebody else out there pastor I don't know what God has planned for us I know there's extraterrestrials blows my mind to realize that God runs the galaxy the universe but yet he cares about us amen someone help pastor he cares about me and that means that if he be for you, you don't let circumstances determine whether or not you worship him. You don't let circumstances determine whether or not you praise him. Like the psalmist says, I'll bless the Lord at what? His praise shall be in my mouth because he's a good God. He's a good God. And I pray that he does something very special for us today in a special way. Amen. So we're grateful for, for each of you. And like I said, Pastor, we're just blessed to be here. And we thank God for everything he does. All right. We're going to move forward. But then, then again, I'm make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But uh, thank you for your prayers. And... Uh, you're showing a demonstrating of love for Brother Gary. He said, Pastor, I don't wish this on nobody. And I've heard from others that kidney stones are kind of hard on them. But so we are grateful that he's doing better and just grateful that God is good. So you continue to stay in touch and call and share. He, he, he's, he's a very caring person. If you get to know him, he's a very caring person. And he, and he takes what he does very, very serious. So just keep him lifted up. And keep each of us lifted up. Amen? All right, before the ushers come, we got Brother Brown and, and Brother Rick back there. Amen. Look like they're in position, too. They're ready ready to move forward. And before I do so, let me share something in the humorous. How many of you are still smiling and still laughing? Thank you, Lord. And, and I, this I heard too, but I, I share this with you. There was two farmers living next to each other. One was a positive man all the time. He was just positive. The other farmer was just negative. Whatever he thought about negative, you know, everything. Instead of the glass being half half full, it's half half empty, whatever. So they were needing some rain, and it rained really good on their crops. And the positive farmer says, "Lord, thank you for this rain." 
this we've been needing this rain thank you so very much for this rain and the other other, other farmer says well it's so much rain it's going it's going to just run on just ruin everything it's just going to soak everything too much rain and then of course it dried up a little bit and then the sun came and began to bake the bake the, the crops and he said well lord thank you again for the crops and, and everything and he says, well, now, now things going to dry up. The negative farmer said, they're about to dry up. They're going to dry up. So, so the positive farmer thought, I know what I do with him. I'll take him fishing. Let's go fishing or, 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 or take a boat. Or do something. Let's do something different. And he said, we can even you know, go hunting in the boat. So sure enough, they got a boat. And they went out hunting and fishing. And, she, and he had a chance to shoot this duck. Pow, a good farmer shot the dirt. And the farmer told him, he said, watch, watch, watch his dog. He got his dog, he said, go fetch him. And the dog jumped out the boat, ran across the top of the water, got the bird, and brought him back on top of the water and put him in the boat. And, 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 and the farmer, positive farmer, looked at him and said, what do you think about that? Negative man said, just as I thought, the dog can't even swim. Come on, y'all get it later. Get it happily.